This is my 96.5 Uniwalk 404, which I turned into an off-grid camper. And one of the important things of an off-grid camper is the electric system. I use batteries from Aeolithium, so in this video we're gonna review them. Aeolithium provided the batteries for an honest review and to make it possible to cook off-grid on induction in my Unimog while camping in remote areas. My plan was to test out the batteries on my uh, big trip to the North Cape, but that plan failed because of breakdowns. But I still uh, used the uh, batteries a lot with the induction cooking here in the workshop and the lights and the fridge and the diesel heater. And the Aeolithium batteries worked really great in my uh, off-grid uh, setup. Here we have the Aeolithium LifePo 4 batteries, 12 volt, 100 amp hour. They have a Bluetooth app, lithium ion batteries. The reason why I use two batteries in parallel is to provide enough power to the Victron inverter. I can run the Victron inverter on one battery, but then you go over 100 amp hour continuous load and then the battery starts heating up. It can provide up to 200 amp hours from one battery for three minutes in the specs, but to have a long battery life and use them for years, it's way better to use two of them. Then they uh, balance the load over the two batteries and they don't overheat and that's much better. One thing that I don't like about these batteries is the battery terminals. They are recessed into the body and if you use uh, terminals for a uh, 50 mm cable it can fit. But if you want to make bridges with 70 mm cable and go a little bit bigger it won't fit. So I had to make copper rings under it to put it a little bit higher so I could make not like the nice runs like this. But if you use this battery as a single unit for a smaller system with a smaller inverter, this battery terminals would work fine. But luckily they have a newer model of the batteries and they made uh, better terminals. So they solved it in the newer model. And you can use two of those batteries in series if you want to make a 24 volt system. Or you can use up to four batteries in parallel to make a 12 volt system 400 amp hours. But if you want to do a bigger setup like that, then you also need to check out their newer model because that has more functions to make bigger battery banks. The batteries have built in Bluetooth, which is really nice. It uh, found the two batteries and then you can connect to it. And then you can see the batteries are now on 53%. The voltage is 13.27 volt. The temperature is 16.8. They have made uh, six uh, charge cycles. The power usage is now uh, 5 watts, but that is per battery because the app only locks in one battery at a time. I also installed a Victron shunt. So I have also here the battery monitoring. So if I want to see how full my batteries are, I just lock into the shunt and normally I don't lock in to the app of the batteries. If you have only one battery, this gives enough information that you don't really need a shunt. The batteries have screws, so you can really open this battery and take it completely apart. So AO Lithium gives you the right to repair. And that was one of the big points why I contact them about those batteries. Because I think it's really important that you can fix products yourself or bring it to a repair center. Because sometimes on a BMS one component can fail and then someone on component level can change like a resistor or a small thing and fix it again. And you don't have to throw away the complete product. Also it is in theory possible to change cells, to change the BMS. So you have full control about repairs. And a lot of other lithium battery uh, brands just glue the whole unit together and then you can't do anything to repair it and you need to throw out the whole battery if it's broken or damage the battery to get it open. Big points for the right to repair. 
that Aeolithium gives us. The batteries are 12 kilo each and 100 amp hours. And the nice thing about the Aeolithium batteries is you can use 100% of the power and then the BMS shuts down the battery to prevent any damage. But an ATM battery you can only use up to around 50, maybe 60%. So to have the same amount of energy out of ATM batteries, you need 120 kilos of ATM batteries. And now I have only 24 kilos of lithium batteries. And I think that is one of the biggest advantages of going to lithium. And also the battery life, the charge cycles of a lithium battery it's much higher than an ATM battery. So in the end, an ATM battery is just more expensive than a lithium battery. So in my opinion, lithium is cheaper than ATM, but it's more in the long run and the startup costs of lithium are higher, but with many more charge cycles of the lithium batteries, you outlast a lot of ATM batteries before this battery is uh, end of life. Only uh, to charge lithium you need a different charger, you need a solar controller that can use lithium uh, charge cycles. So it is an investment, but if you make a campus for five or more years, lithium is really the way to go. Here I have my big Victron inverter together with this IKEA induction cooktop and that works really well. My system is designed so well that I don't have to worry about how much energy is still in the batteries because I have two ways of charging them. One way to charge is with solar of course. So I have here a Victron solar controller and 340 watt panel on the roof. So a really big panel to have a, like also a lot of charging. And what's also important to have in your system is a DC-DC converter. So while driving I charge the batteries with 30 amps. In six and a half hours of driving, I can top off the batteries from zero to 100%. But while driving, also the solar panel works and that gives around, maybe in good light, 20 amps of charging. So that gives like 50 amps to the battery bank. So in four hours, then it would be full. And I have a third method of charging and that is a wall charger of 25 amps from Victron. But if you are traveling, the solar panel and the DC-DC converter is enough to charge up the battery bank and cook your meals on induction. I really like the Aeolithium batteries because it made my 12 volt system really powerful and they perform great in my real world situation where I actually use the products to do real things of the cooking and powering my off-grid camper setup. And what I like is the Bluetooth app and the right to repair. If there is an issue with the battery, you can monitor it. You can maybe repair it instead of throwing the whole battery away because you can't do anything with it. The only thing that I don't like are the recessed battery terminals, but in the new model, they already changed it. I will put links in the description to the Aeolithium website and to Amazon. But what I found out, if I want to order them from the European Amazon websites, I can't really find them. And I really hope that they will uh, make a warehouse in Europe where they can directly send them from. Because then we have less shipping cost and quicker delivery. So if you like to support me, you can make a donation on my coffee page or directly on PayPal and check out my Unimog 404 Instagram channel where I post short videos and different content than here on YouTube. So check it out and thanks for watching.